Hello again and welcome back to my channel, Bliss in the Chaos. We are in the middle, well middle, probably near the end of this series of videos unboxing this fantastic box of jewelry from Shop Goodwill out of Long Beach, California. And it is 27 and a half pounds. And yeah, it's been a lot of fun so far. I've got a lot of interesting things really big craft pile, but lots of good stuff to sell. In my last video, I said I was probably going to get another cup of wine, and I did, because it's the evening, and it's almost bedtime, and it's relaxing me. This is, I'm not, like, sponsored or anything, but this is Barefoot Sangria, and it's yummy, and I like it. Mmm. I just take it plain. I don't doctor it up or anything. Anyway, back to the fun. Let's go ahead and unbox some more. Let me get a handful. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, couldn't lose it. <laughs> I lost some beads. That was pretty funny. I think it's just those other white ones from that necklace that broke. Okay, that's an interesting bead. I'm going to keep it. All right, so we got a lot of fun stuff here. Wow. Wow. Just a random bead. Another the bead from the thing that broke. Let's dig in. Oh my. I got another one of these, I think. And I was going to clean it up and keep it. I love this thing. Look at that. Oh, ooh, look at that. That's a hook earring. Gold tone. Just not dangly or anything, it's just down. Mm. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. This is neat. This is really cool. I think it's like straw or raffia or something, and it's orange, and it's kind of worn on the edges. Eh. And I am, my wrist is too big to wear it, but probably because of my knuckles. I've. They say it's not arthritis, but who knows? <laughs> But this is fun. I will definitely sell that. Orange is happening. Here's a cheapy little bent bangle. That's a nice silver toned one. I will sell that. Here's one of these funky stretchy ones. Got some of these in gold. It's kind of fun. Maybe. I have so many maybes. Oh, this is nice. It is a button-type clasp, and it's gold beads. It's kind of nicely done. I like that. It's pretty, but I don't think I'll sell it. Oh, well. Um, here's another silver bangle. This one feels cheaper, though, so I'm going to leave it in the lot. Ooh. Hey, another keychain. <laughs> the Windy City, Chicago. That's kind of fun. Huh. Keychain, so I don't know. Are those collectible? I mean, I'm sure they're collectible. If people can collect anything, it's just, I don't know. That's like a bronzy tone. Yeah, I think so. I'll keep it. Oh, here's a state. What state is this? I don't know. I don't know the shape of the states individually. Just mine. But mine's the easiest. Mine's Michigan. Besides like Florida and Texas and like California. I don't know. Okay. This says 925 Italy. Very cool. So I guess it doesn't matter what state it is. I'm going to put it in my silver bin. Even though the silver, this is probably not silver, just the chain, but it'll all go over there. I talked it out. <laughs> okay, this one's nice. Nice twisted silver. Pretty sil eh, pretty shiny. Let's get these out of the way because they're fun. Now, normally I don't really like plastic beads to sell for anything, but these are fun. These are super long. Yeah, I think I'll sell those. These are cheap. <laughs> and those cheap little grab bag ones. Or whatever. You know what I mean? I don't know. Ooh, this is fun. 
These are wood. A little dusting, but that's cute. So, let's see here. Oh my. Oof. What is this going to be? Wow. It's a pin. This looks like a Santa's secret shop kind of thing. You know? Interesting. I don't think I'll sell it. Nah. Okay. What is this thing? Oh, there's another white bee. Whoop. Here's some Claire's 18 karat gold plated. Those are cute. Add to my other card of earrings. Okay. Okie dokie, let me see. Oh my gosh, really? Oh my goodness. Look. Oh my goodness, look at those. I'll put that one back side up and this one will go front side up, apparently. Because there are rhinestones down the center. These are like a bronzy tone. Those are long. Holy cow. Look at those. Wicked cool. I will sell those. Those are different from anything I've seen yet. Wow. Oh, this is one. Angie and Handmade Sterling Silver. I hope we find the other one. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? If this is the original, anyway. And if this piece is not marked. It is not marked, but I'll keep it over to the side and maybe test it later. Huh, I'm gonna put it in my testing pile. There, I've decided. <laughs> wow. That is a hammered silver teardrop with this little snappy back post. Is it going to work? Does it need to be stretched out? Probably just needs to be stretched out a little. Oof. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not going to mess with it. Oh, look at it. That's precious. It's a little Mickey Mouse. I'm not keeping it, but it's cute. Okay, how about this? Oh man, I always get myself into this. <laughs> this is pretty. Dainty gold tone chain. And it's got these lovely, that's a Y necklace. That's lovely. I'll probably sell that. And this is a nice tangled mess of fun. Oh. A Little baby stud earring. Who knows what's in here, but I see a tag. Oh, it says Claire's. <laughs> it's probably all one thing. I'll bet you. Yeah, this is all one thing. Yep. Okay, and it's long. Let's see, what I'm not sure is if this goes to it. The hangy balls. Okay, this is all one, very long. Gold tone necklace, and then you get to the end, and there's some hangy balls. And I guess they are part of it. And they're missing all sorts of gems. Hmm. But if you take the hangy balls off, who will even know? You know? Nah, I don't think I'll take the time. Little Claire's piece. Heavy though, feels good. Here's the match to that earring. Oof, what is this? It's just some bead work, all by its lonesome. It's a pretty bead, so look how pretty. Nice. Um, this one, I think. Oh, that's a cheap bangle. Okay. Oh, goodness, of course. Of course you are. 
Come on. Get out of there. Oh, that's like stretchy too. Weird. Stretchy. Okay. Maybe I like doing this because I can kind of talk to myself, even though I'm talking to you, you know? I don't have enough conversations with myself. This is like a kind of stretchy elastic cord with this very interesting pendant on the end. I think this pendant would do well on something else because it's pretty cool and chunky and I like it. That is a piece of seed. Look at that. Like a seed is buried in there. And now I'm going to get stubborn and try to pick it out. I got it. <laughs> Funky little seed stuck in that pendant. That's a cool pendant. I do not like the clasp that it's on, the string that it's on. It's like boing boing. Doesn't feel nice at all. Lot. Cool pendant. And I got some cool chains I could put it on, like maybe this one. I don't know. We'll see. Pendant pile. Ooh, more close in A. I really like this. This is so pretty. Look at that work. The enamel work inside the gold. How on earth is it? Why is it jingling? Do close in A, close in A bangles supposed to jingle? Well, it's jingling. <laughs> oh well, that's beautiful. Here's another one of these pens. Oh, it's different though. This one says California. It's not a gavel like the other one. Congress. Oh, 1897, National Congress of Parents and Teachers. Hmm, interesting. We'll keep for now. Here we have this very pink. Ooh, look at you. Oh, it's 1928. Really? Yep, 1928. There's the chain. It's got a lot of 1928 in here. It's got a ribbon and a chain and apparently it looks like a locket, but oh yeah, it's a locket for sure. Here we go. Boop. That's cute. We'll definitely sell. I love lockets. Mm. I should wear one. <laughs> Ugh, more rubber. Remember a few, several, several now videos ago. Those rubber beaded ugh, necklaces, they were just gross. Okie dokie, so here we have a gold lobster clasp on a Scarborough Mare? Fair? Fair, maybe, I think. And it says Genuine Lucite. Cool. I can dig me some Genuine Lucite beads. <laughs> That's cute. I like it. I'll probably take the tags off of it, except the Genuine Lucite one. Just to make sure it is Genuine Lucite. Oh, that's missing its cabochon. I hope it shows up. That's cool. But this is that yucky. Ugh. Why does it Ugh. That's yucky. I don't like it. I'm taking it off. It like... Ugh. It's like actively leaving a film on my fingers. Come on. Get off of there. Do not want you on there. Okay, fine. That's going to take a while to... And it's got to be cleaned. Okay. I'm going to take this off. Put it over here. Blink. <laughs> Clean it up later. Here we have a silvery chain with this really pretty little pink tinged jewel in the middle. And you can totally see the <laughs> you can totally see the wire through the middle. And this says it's from Express. But I don't like it. <laughs> See you later. Ooh, these are fun.
wood or something. Yeah, I think they're wood. Barrel clasp. But these are fun. I like that. It's different. No idea what it's made of. This is a pin. Breast Cancer Awareness. It's a stamp. Like the U.S. Postal Service stamp. Yeah. Interesting. We'll see. And here's some more of that bead work. Here's a lovely... It says Mexico. Some really nice enamel work with a little bit of shell inlay. That's really nice. I like that. Wow. Monet. Monet? No, this is Givenchy. Oh boy. Can you see the Givenchy? Wowza. Never had a Givenchy before. Doesn't look that great. Huh. Oh well. Let's see. Okay, those bangles gotta go over there. Here's a piece of something. Ooh, that's beautiful. Look at that. The rhinestones and the shell. Let's hope we catch the rest of that too. It's beautiful. Put that there for now. <laughs> See what falls out. Oof. White bead. I had some of these and they were tiger. And they are listed in my eBay right this second. Where are you, buddy? Don't go back to break you. Don't make me break you. Hmm. Why do they gotta do this? Rebel, rebel, rebel. I don't wanna rip the thread, because they're neat. Grab it. Grab it. Is that where I was supposed to grab it? So hard to find the break. There's the break. Okay. And open. And deep thread. Get off of there. Ooh. See, these are the same. It's like the tiger ones I have right now, but this is leopard. That's super cool. I think those are so much fun. Put those away. Then I will close this up. Oof. Of course I did. Ah, oh, shoot. Now what end was that? Over here, I hope. Okay, let's see. Get you back in there. some nonsense to myself. I talk nonsense to myself when I'm shopping too. Hmm. Okay, good. Cool. Put those off to the side. In case I need them again. Ooh, there's some more wine over here. Mmm, -hmm. mm, yummy. Okay, so wow. <laughs> Holy cow. My goodness. I was like, I know I've got a little wine in my system, but this is just crazy. It's just a little twisty hoop. If I'm not... I say I'm not, but I, I like to make things. I love to craft things, but sometimes I just do not know about people. You know? <laughs> Oh well. Okay. Okay, there. One end here. That appears to just be the end. And they're all stuck on that, and then it's like this thing. It's a lot of seed beads, and then these long cylindrical beads, and then these little, little hairy balls hanging at the end. 
Ooh, they do not feel nice either. They're leopard print, so that makes them kind of funky. <laughs> but I'm not much one of understanding the hairy balls on a necklace. I don't know. I'm going to put that in the lot. They're funny, but I'm not selling them. Let's think of the keywords. This is a rose gold Fendi bracelet. Not in very good shape. Back to the lot with you. This is a silver tone bangle in pretty nice shape and shiny. I like it. This is a plain gold hoop. Ooh, this is low. Oh, this is fun. Look at the snake. And this is just howlite. Is it howlite? I don't know. Might be plastic. We'll see. Who made it? Who made it? 1928 again. Nice. I like it so much. Mm. Kind of a lovely thing. Oh, jeez, oh, Pete. <laughs> okay. Cheating. Bah. This is so cool. Now, I guess the question is, is this a 1928 pendant or not? Because it doesn't seem like the quality the 1928 gives, and it doesn't have the signature backing. So I guess we'll put it to the side and see, but that's a lot of fun. Sweet little snake. Some more feather. Ugh. Well, I'm going to say right off the bat that I don't like this. It's worn out. Not that nice. Yeah. Lot. I'm going to get rid of that dust too because it keeps moving and catching my eye and I don't like it. Some more of that beadwork. Ooh. Very pink. Did I have the other one? I think so. Very pink hoop. Mm -hmm. Of course. Oh, I can hear a cricket now. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, once I get this out of here. Oh, it's Hello Kitty. Cute. Once I get that out of here, though, that will go on the lot. Looks like I've got... I've had this before. Or something very similar, at least. Okay. Open. Oh, God. That is busted. It won't open. Oof. Okay, fine. We'll do it the hard way. <laughs> oh. Hard way. There's something. What did we get? Oh, we got a couple things. Ooh, no wonder. This is that really strange twisty wire stuff that's very, very hard to work with. It gets tangled up in everything. And it's not marked, so to the lot. There are... I guess this is a bracelet that broke. That's easy enough to fix. I can fix that easily. I could fix it right now if I wanted, but I'll put it in the fix pile. I won't bore you with it. Here's some elastic cord, gold elastic cord. Not worth much to anybody in that shape. Ooh, look, they've got matching earrings to those things. So fun, so fun, I love it. This must be another of those toe rings. Cute. Ooh, Ooh I was gonna say this was shell, but this is weird, this is like, Foam. Wood, maybe. No, it's like foam. Like ceiling tile foam, you know? Oh, see, look at What the hell? I mean, what the heck? Excuse me. <laughs> Do not like. Toot a lot. It's cute. A teeny tiny toe ring. It's got some malachite in it. That's really pretty. 
Where do we go next? Where do we go now? Oh man, this is very pretty. Lots of rhinestones. Oh, missing one there. Boo. Little necklace. Missing two rhinestones there too. Otherwise not marked. Hmm. I think I will keep it to harvest because these are nice rhinestones. Ah, okay. Let's see. Should have kept those from the other lot. I think I threw them away. And eventually have like a whole house strand. Like I can just cover my house in these, even though they're very small. <laughs> yep. New little lights. Little Christmas lights, tangles and everything. Okay, Almost, oh, this is a delicate chain too, wow. Oh boy, that looks nice. I wonder if it's super nice. Oh, here's another Banana Republic. Okay. We've also got a cold water creek. I think that's the coated wire with the purple droplets. And the delicate chain is still very stuck in there. Hard to tell. I'm gonna have to take this away and um, untangle it elsewhere because it takes forever. Oof. This says Japan and it's like a wire work broken clip earring to the lot. So this is all tangly stuff that I need to work on later. I'll show you later too, maybe. <laughs> this is some lovely beadwork and lace plastic necklace says Monet. So maybe that'll be worth untangling. Pretty colors. Like that orange topaz. That's really pretty. Okay. And then this guy. Ooh. This is a Kenneth Cole. Another Kenneth Cole, New York. So it must I must have done that wrong. Like this part here must go around up here, this thingy instead. So the bat hangs down asymmetrical like that, which is kind of fun. What's this about? I don't think I've even come across one Kenneth Cole thing that I'm able to resell because they always come to me in horrible shape. Like this, I don't think I can clean. Unless I try really hard and ain't nobody got time for that. And it's not that cute. <laughs> okay, sorry, Kenneth Cole. And here's some more fun rhinestones I can use for harvesting. Very nice. Unless it's marked in any way, which it is not. Very cheaply made. But the rhinestones are nice. Yeah, I'll harvest those like it's no tomorrow. <laughs> All right, brush, 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 and another handful. Another fun one. Looks like it might be a little easier. Mm, nah, those are plasticky, kind of bad. What's in here? A tarnish prevention bag. Uh -oh. There's something in there. Oh boy. Pacific Pearl. Ooh. Beautiful South Pacific pearls, personally sourced by the artist for Pitcairn. Pitcairn? Wow. 
beadwork, and this little pearl. That's funky. Handmade by Heather and Carrie Young. Authentic Pitcairn Island Curio. Big flower. Neat. Huh, look at that. That's very cool. I'll look that up later. This tarnished prevention bag is pretty sweet. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'll probably just throw it out. First rave. Oh, I'm selling that. That's hilarious. First rave. Ooh, that's strong. I like it. That's so funny. Here is a smiley angel. He's got the smiley face. That's fun. My little sister is a December baby. She probably won't wear that, but hey. Birthday. Rave. That's not a B. Rye. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's going to the lot because that's funny. Okay. There's some fun shiny silver. But no. Cheap. Wow. I think they're resin. Kind of kind of worn out. Banging though. Look how banging they are. Wow. Is another white plastic bangle. I think I have three now. And here, look, you can see me. <laughs> A big reflective silver bangle. Kind of cleans up nice, but it's very scratched. That's too bad. Yeah, I'm looking better in the reflection, though. Hey. I am enjoying myself way too much right now. That's a lot bracelet. Too worn out. Ooh, here's some more. Come here. Gosh darn it, why did I like to do that? Okay, here's some more chain from the big chain pile. Get it. This is fun, like wire work and some smushed on rhinestone thingies. That's fun. Ooh. I almost lost it. Meh. I don't really like that. The rondelles are dirty and, like, foggy. Yeah, I don't like it. Ugh. Another little children's stretchy bracelet. Ooh. This one is just adjustable. With, like, this pearl up there and the little rose. It's kind of cute, but gosh, you can, you can like cut somebody with that. I'm going to put that in the lot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This lot is a giant source for amusement. Check it out. It's like freaking stamped leather and everything. It's put all together nicely and it has a penny in there. A 1976 penny. The scent never spent to repair a Zippo product. Oh my gosh. And it's stapled, so maybe that was a Zippo? That must have been like a Zippo holder or something. That's funky. My goodness. I will look that up too. That's super fun. Okay. Meh. Those are boring and poorly made. Ooh. Wow. Ugh. It's like really gross. It's kind of cool, but also really gross at the same time. Ugh. I have to soak that in vinegar for like days and it wouldn't be worth it. So much verdigree on that. Okay, I'm just going to trash that because... Okay, I need a new baby wipe. Alrighty. Ah. I'm sorry, these are the best wipes. I've tried store brand and everything, and Huggies, I think. Not Huggies. Pampers it sucks. They're so slippery, and they roll up on themselves. But this, Huggies where it's at. I've got six kids I would know. 
I am not sponsored. <laughs> Another white V. Ooh. Those are cold. Rose quartz, maybe? That's really nice. I'll keep that. Pretty rose quartz. This is just a giant Hello Kitty. <laughs> Very cute. But not for me. Let go of my... Ah, look at <laughs> How did that happen? It wants to be part of this group, but cannot be. I do not like it. Okay. Cheap little gold hoop. Here is... Okay, so this is a pin. And this is a pin. Oh, this must be a sweater pin. You know, you have a cardigan sweater. You pin it there, pin it there, and then you got this lovely little thing. That's cute. Not marked. That's cute, though. I'll sell that. It's the first one I've come across. Oop, what's this? Tijuana, Mexico keychain. Nope. <laughs> Here's a fun silver bangle. Well made. That's nice. What's this? Wow. Ooh. Wowza. That's heavy. Fun pink stones. Heck yeah. Another children's bracelet. Here's that other hoop with the hearts. Is it on there somewhere? <laughs> Here's a piece of something. Don't know what. That's fun. Yeah, that is fun. It's not marked though. Crazy. That's neat. It's like organically molded. I like it. Ooh, my. Oh, what's missing at the bottom? It's a little ring and it's got, he's articulated, but he's missing his butt. He's so cute. I'll keep that in my craft bin for something. That's stone. Pretty sure. Yeah, I think that's stone. I'll put that in my lot, my fix it lot. This is a stretchy band. Cheap bangle. I'm stuck in this lovely gold one. It's all textured. That's fun. Any mark? No marks. It fits. That's cute. I like it. I'll keep it. There's a giant hoop. Interesting. Some more cheap bracelets. Ooh, this is a wannabe cloisonne. Well, it might actually be cloisonne, just not as well done. Could probably shine up though. That's really cute. I like it. It just didn't look as deep, you know what I mean? I love Texas. <laughs> no, not that one. It looks kind of blue. Here's another one of these. I had one a couple videos ago. I didn't like it. So we put it over here. This is fun. I like this. Could probably use to use a to be re-threaded on elastic. But that's fun. I should clean up nicely. Put that in my fixed elastic bracelet pile. And this one is wood. A wood hoop. Pretty good shape. That's cute. All right. So guys, we are at 40 minute mark again, and I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I like to keep them around 40 minutes lately. It's easier for me to edit them when I do it and they don't get too long. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're enjoying this lot. It's so much fun and so weird. So weird. My goodness, seriously. I'm gonna have to look that up. Perhaps take the staple out and sell it. That'd be interesting. Alrighty, so I'm going to head out. This is the end of um, box. box. This is the end of video number six for the box from Long Beach, California, 27 and a half pounds. I hope you join me again tomorrow morning when I have the next video out, video seven. Ooh, this is a long series. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, guys. Bye. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed my video. I've put links to my Poshmark, eBay, and anything else that may be of interest to you down in the description.